Hello everyone, so today we're going to go through sketching a card design on paper first and we always do this on paper before we start manufacturing the card just to help us get an understanding of what we're trying to do. So I've downloaded the card sketching sheet off the OneNote and in here you can see we've got a front view and a top view to full scale. We have outlined on here the uh, canister hole on the block. We have our tether line slot. The length of the entire block is shown, but we've got this red line, and that means or shows us the maximum length that the car can be. So this one here says the car length can be no greater than 210. I'm actually going to cut this back, and I'm going to make the car no more than about 200 millimeters. So I'm just going to put a little line there for the time being. So with my car design, I've done some research. And I've decided I want the main body of the car to be uh, like a half moon sort of shape, just one nice big curve. So I'm going to start with the body and then work my way up. And this is the same order that I'm going to use to actually make the car in on shape. So front of the car, I'm going to make sure it starts at about the top of the tether line guide. And just going to do a nice smooth curve. So just try one line all the way down to about the tether line slot on the back and we'll, we'll make that round off nice just to provide some um, just a nice transition once I've done that uh, probably the next major thing we're going to be looking at is I'm going to look at the canister housing so Around the canister hole, we need to make sure we've got at least three millimeters. So, just going to sketch a couple of points about three millimeters. On the back here, just going to come straight in. On the front, I might actually just curve it up a tiny little bit. And from here, I want to have that come down in a nice smooth curve leading into the body. So, I've got the body of the car, I've got my balsa around the canister hole and I've got his, um, what's going to be a lofted section from the body up to you know what will cover the canister housing. After that, before we can start doing anything else, we need to think about where the wheels are going to go. Now to give an idea of the size of the wheels, I'm going to use a 20 cent piece. And they're pretty close to the same size. So I'm, I'm going to keep the back wheel Nearly close to the back of the car. Um, out there looks good. And I'm not too worried about, get out of the camera, about the height. Yeah, it looks about right. Um, and on the front, I'm, I need at least 15, 16 millimeters for the front wing. Bring this back. Um, sorry, get my hands in the way. But there's my, my two wheels drawn on the car. All right, next key things. Um, I think I'm going to do the side plot. So we've got to keep a couple of millimeters in front of the wheel. So I'll put that about there. Uh, I need to keep at least 15 millimeters behind the front wheel. I want the side pod to sort of taper up a little bit. So I'm going to have this something like that, I think. So it's going to be sort of long, but I, actually what I might do, I might have this section tape it, and we'll see if we can play around with this. Uh, so that's going to, yeah, I think that's going to look good. So, okay, got the body, canister housing, side pod. I need some, uh, I need some wings on this. So front wing. Uh, I'm going to keep the front wing, I'm going to have it just kick up a tiny little bit. Just we'll round that over. Keeping in mind, I've got to keep three millimeters around that front wing, so I'm going to have to watch that gap in there. Uh, rear wing, I'm going to have it right at the back of the car, I think. I might bring that front, that back wheel forward a little bit in the real car, we'll see. So here's going to be my back wing. Um, lastly, I'm going to. Fill out this section a little bit, just have a, a little bit of a, a 
quite, I suppose you call it, behind the rear wheel. So, for a very quick side view, that looks pretty good. It's a bit rough, but I've got all the key features. Now, I'm only working on the side view at the moment. We've got this top view up here. So, what we can do, we can start by transferring some of these lines up. So, if I very carefully, my front wheel is going to be about there. Rear wheel, about there. And I'm going to draw these in first. I'm going to move this paper down. So the wheel's about, I think it's about 16 millimeters wide. So there's my wheels. Let's check the size. This one's probably not quite big enough. And I'm just going to shade this in to show that this is the wheel. So shade that one in there. And here's my front wheel. Okay, so rear wheel there, front wheel. Um, okay, the body of the car, we're going to come in to be at 200 there. It's a little bit hard to see. I should have used a darker pen, sorry. Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to with this nose, actually, I'm going to put a bit of a round on this. In fact, I'm only going to worry about half the car at the moment. So front of the nose, taper in, and then from there, it's going to go all the way down, because it's going to go to the back of the car anyway. So that's what the, the, the main body of the car is going to look like. I'm going to have my canister housing. Now on this one here, um, this, this tapered section, oops, I've got the camera. This tapered section just here, I actually want to come in. It's going to start about there, but I want it to taper out. So I'm going to try and aim something like that. And we're going to use a, a function called loft, and I'll show you that in a little while. So we might try and do both sides. Let's go wheel, wheel. There's the front wheel, back one. I think I'm definitely going to have to move these wheels forward. I won't have enough space, but anyway, I can do that when we model the actual car. Okay, so there's my rear wheel. The, the other half of the body is going to come all the way back. And then the other half of the tether line, oh, sorry, the tether line, the um, canister housing will have that taper off and it'll disappear into the body there. Okay, so we've got that, that, that. Uh, next one's the side pod. Uh, where's it? It's about here. So what I want to try and do, I'm going to have the side pod. Actually, I don't even want to do that. Um, I'm going to have it taper. So let's see if I can grab my texty eraser. I want the type side pod to taper back from the front. Make it a little bit more aerodynamic and come back like that, I think is going to look pretty good. So, there, All right? So, there's my two side pods at the back. I'm going to have my wing, this won't be big enough, so I'll have to fix that. wing there and I'm going to have a wing at the front okay so I've got body of the car I've got my canister housing side pods front wing rear wing now this side this rear pod here um, I'm going to have taper off like that and you won't see this normally in a top view because it'll be under the wings and that's the main features of my car it's very quick it's um, not designed to be 100% accurate and we're not worried too much about dimensions we're just trying to get a concept down on paper so we have an understanding <coughs> excuse me so when we move into creating this car in on shape 
we've got a reference to look at. All right, and that's the next video. I'll see you soon.